students now once again we will consider the four types of the logic statements or logic connectives first connective is a and and the name of the statement is a conjunction p and q are the two simple statements their conjunction is p and q which is written as p inverted vq inverted vq the truth value of the conjunction p and q depends on the truth values of p and q truth values of p and q example 2 plus 3 less than 6 and 5 square less than 26 first statement is a true second statement is also true that is p and q is equal to t and t is equal to t capital t stands for true t and d is equal to t 2 plus 3 less than 6 and 5 square greater than 26 then first part 2 plus 3 less than 6 is a true but second part 5 square greater than 26 is a false means it is a true and false therefore the combined effect of the complete statement is a false complete statement effect is a false the result of the statement is a false 2 plus 3 greater than 6 and 5 square less than 26 2 plus 3 greater than 6 is a false. Second part is a true. 5 square less than 26. Therefore, the resultant effect or the complete answer of the statement is a false. False and true is equal to false. And 2 plus 3 greater than 6. 5 square greater than 26. P and Q false and false. The result effect of the statement is a false. This junction P and Q are the two simple statements. and their disjunction is p or q which is written as a p v q p is the symbol for the or the truth value of the disjunction p or q depends on the truth values of p and q and each statement will have either true answer or false answer or true value or false value in between results are not allowed example 2 less than 3 or rome is in italy rome is in italy p or q first statement is a true second statement also true joined by or and the resultant effect of the complete statement is a true 2 less than 3 or rome is not in italy means first statement is a true second statement is a false but the combined effect of the statement or the result of the statement is a true true or false 2 greater than 3 or rome is in italy the two greater than 3 is a false or rome is in italy is a true therefore false or a true is equal to true two greater than 3 or rome is not in italy false or a false the resultant effect of the combined statement is a false now and is like a multiplication remember or is like a addition for and for and as well as or capital t is a replacement for the 1 and false for the 0 therefore 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 that way you remember the and f stands for 0 t stands for 1 and for the or t is 1 again 1 1 plus 1 is 1 actually for arithmetic it is a 2 but 1 plus 1 or higher voltage from voltage point of view plus higher voltage is equal to again a voltage or another example i will give you a student is a pass greater than 35 marks student is pass greater than 46 marks student pass greater than 90 marks it is not like pass pass it is a pass plus pass is equal to pass pass in two subject pass in three subjects pass plus pass plus pass plus pass is equal to going to be pass 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 that way you remember for the or result now important statement is a conditional statement conditional statement and this statement you will you will understood by taking example p and q are the two simple statements and their implication is denoted by p arrow q p arrow q or p implies q if p then q the truth value of p arrow q depends upon the truth value of p and q if diagram 
is a rhombus if diagram is a rhombus then it is a parallelogram and we know that all the rhombus are parallelogram all parallelograms are not rhombus but all the rhombus imply that diagram is a parallelogram therefore t arrow t is equal to d if diagram is a rhombus then it is not a parallelogram is any such rhombus is available or we know that no therefore p arrow q t arrow f is a f and this is very very important t arrow f is equal to f diagram is not a rhombus maybe any other quadrilateral and that can be the parallelogram then it is a parallelogram it is possible and there are so many diagrams which are not rhombus but that can be the parallelogram therefore p arrow q f arrow t is equal to t if diagram is not a rhombus then it is not a parallelogram it is obvious the combined effect of the statement is correct diagram is not rhombus then that diagram is not a parallelogram therefore f arrow f is equal to t f arrow f is equal to t now prepare the one example i will take prepare the truth table for the p and q arrow p or q inverted v is and v is or now basic letters plus number of connectives is equal to number of columns now here we are having basic letters 2 p and q and connective 1 2 and 3 therefore 2 plus 3 5 columns are there and for p there are two possibilities either the statement is a true or statement is a false therefore the pq combination will have four possible combinations both are true or p is a true q is a false or p is a false q is a true or both statements are false these are the four possible ways of p and q statements then p and q is a t f f f it is like a multiplication p or q is like addition t t t f and a arrow b a arrow b means t arrow t is equal to t f arrow t is equal to t f arrow t is equal to t and f arrow f is equal to also t is it clear and for such formation of a table three marks are there in the exam thank you